What's up fragrance lovers and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie and over here I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you are into smelling good, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my family. In today's video, I'm gonna be running down five sexy fragrances, five of my most sexiest fragrances, okay? And these are fragrances that I've had in my collection. I've worn them. I've gotten response from them, so I know, I know what they're giving, okay? I do have an honorable mention. Y'all know how I do. I love to give an honorable mention. I have to mention this fragrance in this video because, in my opinion, it's one of the most sexiest fragrances that I own. So, like, I had to include her. So, if you want to see what these sexy fragrances are, then keep watching. When I wear these fragrances, y'all, I am very intentional. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know the response that I'm hoping for when I wear these fragrances. And I usually reserve them for like a date night, maybe like a first date. Like if I'm really into the guy, I will wear it on a first date. If I'm like, kind of taking things a little slow like I just don't want to like you know drive him crazy on the first night where he you know can't stop thinking about me I might just reserve it for like date number three but more than likely with the woman that I am I'm probably gonna hit his ass over the head date night number one I'm not even gonna play any games with him okay makeup gonna be beat the fit is gonna be fitting. The hair is gonna be giving what it's supposed to give, okay? And then I'm gonna come up in here and I'm gonna find the most deadliest fragrance that I can find because, yeah, I'm being very intentional. Like, <laughs> you know, I am trying to catch. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, I'm trying to set my trap and catch. So these are like the fragrances that I usually wear when I'm, you know, I'm feeling sexy, yeah, but I'm really being intentional. Okay, this first fragrance that I want to talk about, you probably can find it in any TJ Maxx, you can find it in any Marshalls, you can find it anywhere, any discount store. Right now at this point, you probably can get like a nice one ounce for probably about $25. It is super affordable. I have been wearing this fragrance since the 99s and the 2000. It's never failed me. I have gotten tons upon tons and tons of compliments while wearing this fragrance. And I feel like people don't wear it anymore. So I feel like you can get away with wearing it and people are not really gonna know that it's been out for a very, very long time. Euphoria by Calvin Klein. This is the original release. Knowing TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they always have these flankers and I don't like any of the other flankers. I only like the original release, y'all. Listen to me. When I tell you this fragrance, though it may have been released a long time ago, it is a show stopper. It is one of the most sexiest fragrances I have in my collection and on top of that it's super affordable I will not steer y'all wrong I will not steer you guys wrong it's super sexy y'all super sexy it's a little dark it's a little mysterious I feel like it's also a little powdery but I feel like this is one of the fragrances that was released so long ago. It's like, a it was ahead of its time, okay? We didn't really know the gem that we had in Euphoria until it was too late. I don't even know if they still make this fragrance, but it's just one of those fragrances I feel like it just draws people into you. It is just everything. I do want to spread a little bit, even though the projection on this thing is beast mode. Like I really don't have to spray it right now, but I want to for video sakes, for the video purpose, okay? Oh my God, let me just let it, let's let it air out a little bit. But y'all listen, <laughs> baby, oh, 
she brings all the boys. Do you hear me? Oh, she brings all the boys. Very erotic. In this fragrance, you have notes of pomegranate, persimmon, green accord. In the middle, you have black orchid, lotus, champaca. In the base, you have mahogany, amber, black violet, and whipped cream. It does have a sweetness to it, but it's not an over-the-top sweet. It's just like a hint of something sweet. I would say this fragrance is very woody. More than likely, it's from the mahogany. If you guys have ever smelled that note that is an ebony wood from um, Zara, that's kind of they're not the same okay i don't want to i don't want to take y'all and i don't want you guys to think they're the same but the same type of woody note that's in ebony wood is giving me the same woody note that is in this fragrance it's different from cedar it's different from just your typical woody note it has a little bit of a sweetness to it i do get the black orchid now i feel like orchid is one of those type of notes that comes off very sweet in fragrances, and I get that in this fragrance. So again, it does have a sweetness, but for me, it's not over the top sweet. So I wanted to give you guys a, you know, cheaper option if you're looking for something sexy. I'm not sure if it's discontinued, but if you're able to go to like Ulta and Macy's, like some department stores and put your nose on it, I would highly recommend you do that. But you guys, I'm giving this fragrance a 10 out of 10, okay? The longevity is there, the projection is there, the smell is definitely there. Very sexy, very exotic, erotic, all those things, okay? So definitely check this out. And again, like I said, I've always gotten the most response when i worn this fragrance even though it wasn't in the nine nines okay it felt like it was highly recommend this one this is euphoria by calvin klein i must have been having a time in 2005 because this next fragrance is a fragrance i used to wear back in the day not in the nine nines in 2005 and i actually how did i come about this fragrance I think a co-worker or a friend of mine introduced me to this fragrance. I can't remember. But y'all, I have nothing but the best memories with this fragrance, to be honest with you. It's so important for me to cre create, you know, great, positive scent memories when it comes to fragrances, especially a fragrance that I actually love. Like, uh, it just pains me when I have a fragrance that I have all these great memories of and I wear it and then it turns into a bad memory like I just ugh, I just hate that so fragrance memory is that what they call it is they calling it fragrance memory it's definitely a thing it's a thing for me I don't know if it's a thing for y'all but it's definitely a thing for me as when I tell you I could literally wear this fragrance and ask for anything that I wanted and never got a no never got a no I booked you not I promise you, this was my to-go-to date night fragrance. And at the time, my collection wasn't what it was. I probably at the time had maybe about a good 25 to 30 bottles, uh, not including like body sprays and stuff because I was heavy on the body sprays back in the day. But this was my to-go-to date night fragrance and honey i had a time do you understand i had a time is chance by chanel this is the original release it was released in 2005 the notes include pink pepper jasmine iris patchouli musk and vanilla there are not a, there are not a lot of notes with this fragrance now i will be honest with you this fragrance Nah, there's nothing vintage about this fragrance. Okay, there's a there's a classic. I was gonna say there's something a little vintagey about this fragrance. Y'all know how I feel about Chanel fragrances, but there is a very classy, sexy, vintage vibe to this fragrance. This fragrance to me smells like the most. It is just the most sexiest fragrance ever it smells like money it smells like sophistication and on top of that it smells extremely sexy it smells like wealth okay like 
I am the most sexiest woman on the planet and I'm I'm holding a bag. That's what this fragrance gives me. Probably bottle number two for me. Let's just give her a little bit of a spray for old time's sake, okay? Oh my goodness, we gonna let her, let her dry down a little bit. In the opening, I will say it's very heady, but most Chanel fragrances kind of come off like that to me in the opening. So this is definitely a fragrance that you got to let dry down. You got to let it do what it's supposed to do, okay? So you can get the experience. Don't just write her off right away. But y'all know this already. Y'all know you got to let your fragrances dry down. <sighs> Baby, listen. I pick up something very bright in the opening of this fragrance. I don't know. I'm definitely getting a jasmine. I'm getting a jasmine bomb. And I know a lot of you girlies love that alien, uh, that jasmine that's an alien. I love this type of jasmine. That one comes off a little, not a little, it comes off way, way, very heady to me. It's there, it's, it's in your face, but it's like subdued, okay? It's very, it's toned down for me. I don't really pick up a lot of the iris in this fragrance, even though it does have a little bit of a powdery dry down, but I don't get a lot of the iris in here. I do pick up on that spiciness from the pink pepper. I feel like there could be a little bergamot in the top because I'm getting something bright and citrusy along with that pink pepper uh, note in this fragrance. But you guys, I feel like this is classy. This is like a sexy, classy type of scent. Very elevated, very just bold. She's very bold. She's very much in your face. She's letting you know, like she's saying a lot without even opening up her mouth. That's what I like about this fragrance. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it has a presence about it. I'm a very, I'm like the type of person where, and it's taken me a long time to get used to even talking on camera, and that's just my personality. I'm the type of person where I enter the room and I kind of already have a presence about me, so, and I know this, so because I know this, I don't really say much. I just kind of come in the room, whatever event that I'm in, I speak to people, and I just kind of just like, you know, hang out. I smell expensive, so you know I like the finer things in life, okay? Like, I'm sexy, like you smell it, cause you know you, you smell the sexiness coming off me. This fragrance just has a presence about her. Yeah, she's definitely worth every freaking penny. And this is Chance by Chanel. Love this one, love it. This is probably one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances. Y'all know I love Tom Ford. I think Tom Ford does sexy very well. So there was no way I could leave him out of this video. I just, there's something about Tom Ford fragrances that draw me in every time. This fragrance is actually targeted for men. But I think it's one of those fragrances that is very, very unisex. And I feel like it's very unisex because it's a gourmand in my opinion. It's not a heavy gourmand, but it is gourmand for me. And this is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Love this fragrance. Love this fragrance. For some reason, I usually grab this around the holidays because it just has a very nostalgic smell for me. Um, it, it has a note of Kalufi or Kalufi in it, which is like a dessert note. It almost smells, it smells like a baked good, like a baked, something baked, cookie, a pie, or you know, some type of cobbler. It's baked, right? It has that baked type of feel to it. Fragrance makes me want to just like lick somebody. That sounds very bad. <laughs> If I had a man, okay, and he wore this fragrance, like I could totally see myself like kissing on his neck and chest because it just like putting my face in his neck. I could see myself putting my face in his neck and just kissing on his neck. Then when I wear this fragrance, 
oh i'm trying to start some ish okay i want all the smoke when i wear this fragrance like i'm telling y'all i when i wear this fragrance i am being very intentional and i want it all okay like i'm here for it this is this is why we're here okay when i wear this fragrance like i'm not playing i'm not playing any games it's on okay it is on be tempted to spray this on me right now but i ain't got nowhere to go i'm just dressed up and looking pretty for y'all so i'm not gonna spray this fragrance on me it's extremely unisex i feel like if i spray this fragrance on and you were to smell me you wouldn't know that this fragrance is targeted for me it's just it's extremely unisex for me in the opening i get the uh cardamom and the nutmeg right away you guys know i have an infinity love for saffron i feel like anytime saffron is added to a fragrance it just makes the fragrance extremely sexy it should be called sexy saffron in my opinion because i promise you anytime like when these fragrances when these brands do these flankers and they come out with a different version of a fragrance and they add saffron in it i know nine times out of ten i'm going to immediately love it there is not to this day i can say there is not a fragrance that i haven't smelled with the note of saffron in it that i don't love instantly i pick up on the cardamom and nutmeg so this fragrance does have a spiciness to it and then once it dries down i pick up on the kalufi which again smells like this uh baked good okay a cookie i don't know a pie or like a whatever is baked it definitely has a baked type of smell to it but it's a good baked smell I'm going to pull the counterpart for this fragrance it's the female version which is just called tom ford noir i think that one is extremely sexy too unfortunately it's discontinued so i didn't want to bring it out but i do feel like if you run across noir you should pick that one up as well because it's simply gorgeous but I think out of the two, this one is probably my favorite because this one smells a little bit more gourmandish to me and y'all know I love a good gourmand, but I love this fragrance. Ooh, I need a man in my life. I just wanna drench him with this fragrance, like one time for the one time. Just spray his ass down and just, anyway. Next fragrance, I actually discovered it when I bought a Discovery set from Sephora. It was, uh, an Artillier Cologne Discovery set. I actually fell in love with a bunch of those fragrances out of the set. And I wanna say when the word came out last year or year before last, when they were pulling away from the United States, I knew out of that Discovery set, I had to have this fragrance. So I went on a hunt to see if I can purchase this fragrance while it was still available in the US because I don't know if y'all ever ordered anything outside of the States. Baby, that shipping can, it's ridiculous. So I say, you know what, I don't, I, let me just see if I can buy it while it's still, hopefully still available in the United States. Uh, Santal Carmen from Artillier Cologne. Listen, oh my God. And it's just so unfortunate that they're not here anymore because I feel like they they actually have quite a few bangers. Like I'm not even on front. They have some really, really beautiful scents. But this was the one that stole my heart. And I happened to, the, the few times that I've worn it, because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I really try to reserve this fragrance because I feel like it's just gonna get harder and harder for me to get here in the States. So I try to reserve it. But listen, every time I wear this fragrance, man i get stopped i get approached people want to know like what i have on like it's just it's just crazy it's crazy so in this fragrance in the top you have saffron you have lime you have bergamot in the middle you have sandalwood guayac wood musk in the base you have madagascar vanilla uh texas cedar and papyrus now i will have to say 
I get a lot of papyrus out of this fragrance. And so I'm not really well versed on papyrus and where it comes from and things of that nature. But I will tell you if you wanna know what papyrus smells like, if you've ever smelled Santal 33, then you that's kind of like what papyrus smells like. This fragrance, in my opinion, does not smell anything like Santal 33. It's not sweet at all, in my opinion, even though it has the Madagascar vanilla in it. I feel like it has a touch of sweetness, but that saffron just takes this fragrance to a whole different level, in my opinion. It is just, it just wraps me up. It has a rapture. Every time I smell it, every time I wear it, it just sends me somewhere. And the compliments I get on this fragrance, not only from women, but from men too, oddly enough, okay? Oddly enough, which is who I want the compliments to come from. I mean, I love it when, when the girlies compliment me too, but when it comes from a man, and don't let him be sexy, okay? Like, yes. But there is something so beautiful about this fragrance. It's just, it's, it's this fragrance sends me every time. Like, I'm spinning right now just talking about this fragrance. It's just gorgeous. It, it smells woody, it smells a little dark, it smells a little spicy, a hint of something sweet, but for the most part, it's very woody and very sexy. And I do love a good woody note, like a sexy woody note in fragrances, like I do go for that. I have a tendency to go for those type of fragrances a lot, but this is my favorite. I can't even believe I'm really telling y'all about this fragrance. <laughs> because I don't want y'all to go out and buy it. I'm not a gatekeeper. I want to be open and honest with you guys and tell y'all like this is a banger. If you and I share some of the same tastes and fragrances, I think that you will enjoy this fragrance. If you can get your hands on it, I say go for it, girl, because this is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. I did layer it with some of the other um, Artelier fragrances. I do still have a lot of uh, samples and I love to layer them all together. And for some reason, I feel like layering it with the Santal Carmen just really elevates the other Artelier fragrances. So this is, this is a win-win for me. Like this is just simply gorgeous, simply sexy. Definitely would probably pair this with um, something all black, maybe something red, maybe something gold, maybe because I'm looking at the gold bottle. But you know, Definitely when I'm feeling very edgy and and sexy, that's when I would pull this out. Like when I want, when I'm bringing a little edge to my sexiness, I would wear this. This is good. This is good. Next fragrance is from the House of Killian, and I'm not even gonna lie, I struggled with this fragrance when I first got it. Um, I actually bought it and returned it, and then bought it again. So. <laughs> And I usually don't do that. Like I had to go a little deep with this fragrance and really research it, research the perfumer, research like the intention um, behind the fragrance and all that. And, and if you don't know, a lot of Killian fragrances are meant to be very, they're meant to sit, sit like close to the skin. They're meant to be very intimate uh, fragrances and I think I had to come to grips with that. And so I made my decision when I bought it the second time to actually keep it because I understood the fragrance better and by me understanding it better, it made me realize how good this fragrance actually really is. And I'm talking about Rolling in Love by Killian. In this fragrance, you have notes of almond, and ambret, iris, freesia in the base. You have tuberose, vanilla, Tonka and Musk. How I would best describe this fragrance is lipstick and skin. This is what this fragrance gives me. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on my skin. I feel like with Rolling in Love, spraying it on paper doesn't do it any justice. Like you gotta put this on your skin so you can see the magic happen, okay? You gotta put it on your skin. Of course, I get that almond, oh my God. I get this almond, okay? And this is not a gourmand to me. 
This is definitely not a gourmand, but you get the almondy note, which some people may say it comes off like smelling like cherry. You get the ambrette. Ambrette is uh, comes off smelling a little bit like musk. You get the iris, and it's powdery and cosmetic-y, okay? Because lipstick is cosmetic-y, and it has a very cosmetic smell and a very cosmetic taste to it, okay? He can taste the lipstick. You and y'all are kissing, you can taste your own lipstick, okay? <laughs> like, come on, girls. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm saying, okay? And then I feel like there's a hint of tuberose, you guys. Killian loves to add tuberose to his fragrances. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if there's a significant lady in his life that loves tuberose, but I'm so happy he knows how to pick a good tuberose because tuberose is not my favorite. So I get the musk. Like I feel like what makes the skin smell is the ambre and the musk and the tonka. The tonka can come off smelling a little a little um roasted okay but those three together the tonka the musk the ambre it creates a little bit of a skin scent in my opinion and i just love this fragrance it's very magical it's just different i feel like some people may be have an expectation of rolling in love especially when influencers come on and talk about it and you go actually go out and smell it it doesn't really click like it doesn't really give you like i don't think your expectations are met maybe that's just what happens happened for me i don't know what i was expecting i was expecting this milky sweet almondy cherry like type of scent and that is not at all what this fragrance is giving it does have a little slightly lactonic feel to it but I'm telling you, the essence of this fragrance is skin, lipstick, and sexiness, okay? Hot, heated, passion, sexiness. That is what I get from this fragrance. I would wear this fragrance, I don't think I would wear this fragrance out. I think I would wear this fragrance for a, a date night at home, like, us, you know we're cooking at home watching movie you know it would be a stay at home type of situation it wouldn't be um, if we're going out for dinner that's when I would pull for this fragrance because again it does have a very intimate feel to it it sits very close to my skin it's not a projection beast or a monster or any of those things of that nature but when I tell you this fragrance is magical and it is extremely sexy and I just had to include it in this video. Love this fragrance to pieces. And this is Rolling in Love by Killian. My honorable mention, and I'm not even gonna really go into this fragrance like that because this fragrance has been beat down in the ground, but I wanna give it its due props because I think it is an amazing fragrance. If you don't have this fragrance in your collection, I highly recommend you go out and put your nose on it and and just see. Just see. Wear it around and see the response that you get. It's everything. This is Delina exclusive. I had to include her in this video because the, the day I bought this, and I blind bought this, and y'all know I'm not the biggest lover of rose. Y'all know this. But when I first smelled this, honey, I almost passed out. I almost hit the floor. Um, I get the oud, I get the incense, definitely get the Turkish rose. The Turkish rose is probably like one of my favorite roses out of all rose uh, notes. I get a creamy, sweet vanilla in this fragrance, and I just love it to death. On my skin, I'm getting... I'm getting uh, rose, oud, and vanilla. That's what I get on my skin. And people mostly, when they smell this on me, they mostly pick up the vanilla. And they're like, what you wearing? I smell vanilla. Every time I smell vanilla, I smell vanilla. I'm like, you don't smell the rose? By now, all of y'all watching this video probably either own a bottle or have at least smelled it. 
so you guys know that it is extremely sexy and I had to add it in this lineup, okay? Cause she is just, she's that girl. She's that girl and I love her, okay? Delina Exclusive. Okay, so those were five of my most sexiest fragrances. If you guys want a part two to this video, please comment down below. Let me know also in the comments what some of your most uh, sexy fragrances are and what you think I should put my nose on. If you're into fragrances, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, make sure it turns gray, and also turn on your notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. Hit the thumbs up button before you click off the video. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I hope you are smelling sexy doing it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.